All right, well, sticking with Santa Clara, she has been in the music industry for years, but more and more people are starting to notice her. We are talking about Carol G. If you were in the Santa Clara area by Levi's on Monday night, Levi's Stadium, you might have noticed quite a bit of traffic. And that's because the Colombian artist was in town. And according to Live Nation, she's now the first female Latin artist to sell out Levi's Stadium with 45,000 fans. Now, before we take you to Levi's, let's hear from Carol G. Earlier this year, she talked to CBS News correspondent Lilia Luciano about the obstacles she faced during the beginning of her career and how she went from singing in her native Colombia to being a global superstar. And here's what she said about her dad's influence. And he kept all the time like telling me, like, baby, if this is going to take us years and it's going to be hard and whatever is like the, the gift and the success and the result is going to be like 10 times bigger. So it worth it. Yeah, and her family's support has carried her a very long way. So here's our Leslie Gooden with fan reaction on what makes Carol G one of the best in the game. She's got mermaid vibes, looking ethereal on stage, and is making waves while kicking down barriers and the musical world. She's a rising pop star. Carol G. And if Carol G is watching right now, what do you have to say to her? <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm super fan of you. Her fans love her so much that they sold out Levi's Stadium on Monday night, shattering records. According to Live Nation, Carol G now holds the title of becoming the first female Latin artist to sell out a tour here at the stadium. Her selling out the stadium. I think it, it highlights both the cultural and economic influence and power of Latinos, kind of both at the same time. Um, and it binds the community together in this really unifying way. Max Vargas of the Latino Community Foundation says Carol G is making a point that the Latino community has always known, but the rest of the world is finally seeing. It's also proof that Latinos have that power to lead not just, you know, not just an event, or not just a concert, but to lead a movement, to lead not just as we talk about the economy, not just an economic recovery, but a renaissance. Honestly, in one part of the show, I honestly felt like I was seeing Selena at the time. Like, and then the, yeah, like it felt like that vibe that she would show in her videos and everything when she was live. And with the growing success of her tour, the Colombian superstar has added more shows. And it's safe to say, this is just the beginning. Well, I get this, the story doesn't end there. Lesla talked to the family of that three-year-old Davina. Her mom says that she was hoping Carol G would see her and bring her on stage. That didn't happen, but her mom noticed the two and it made it to Carol G's Instagram story. Oh. So how cool is that for that little <laughs> girl? She awesome. is adorable, by the way. Mom tells us Davina was freaking out about it. Yeah, that's reach, right? Millions of people get to see that photo. In the wig. She was having her best <laughs> Carol G moment. That was so cute. We need to get you a wig like that. Okay. Mm, maybe we'll <laughs> rock it for Halloween. Yeah, that's we, a tease. And they're going to do that. Hey, and uh, a few people that we work with at CBS News Bay Area didn't want to miss the show. Our morning producer, Estefany, and reporter, Lesla, were out there. And our other producers, Alondria and Claudia, went too, and so did our reporter, Jocelyn. Yeah, they were all tired on Tuesday, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> but also having a really good time. Look at what people are saying on social media, by the way. And this is why I love social, because it brings us together, and a lot of people can share how they felt. Jocelyn posting how special and amazing the concert was, and just the excitement. Uh, you know, I feel like it was all over again, because Taylor Swift was just here. Yeah, keep in mind, this comes a couple weeks after Taylor Swift brought two sold-out shows to Levi Stadium. And later this month, Beyonce is going to bring her Renaissance tour to Levi Stadium. That's on August 30th. I mean, that is a stretch of amazing divas and shows and dancing. Yeah, and I love that the Bay Area tracks the best and brightest artists from all over the world. We have such diverse artists mm -hmm. who are hitting the stage and we're seeing people are buying the tickets. It's a big deal. Well, I think people, I love live music. And right. my favorite thing is because in that moment, it's mm -hmm. the only time it's ever going to happen. And you're enjoying it with so many people, like your friends. And it's just a really cool experience. Community. Yeah.